hello friends so once again welcome you back to my channel so in this video today we will see stack so in computer organization architecture where we are going to use stack how to use it and all we are going to discuss so see one thing you need to remember our stack grows downward in the memory that means the first element wherever it will be uh, inserted or pushed the next element will be inserted at the lower address than that of that and sp is a special purpose register that always points to the top stack element right so wherever your top element is there uh, sp will be pointing to it so when you want to insert a new element sp has to be decremented then new element will be inserted right so next we will see uh, this push operation so see here well before doing the push operation please understand that we have taken the assumption that one element in the stack will occupy four bytes and the machine is byte addressable so one element will take four locations right so when we will do push operation right suppose our stack was initially at one sp was at 1980 we need to insert one element so new element will not be inserted at 1980 rather it will be inserted at the next lower address right and it will be four bytes apart why because each element is taking four bytes so initially your stack will be in this configuration sp is at say 1980 having top element as minus 12 now we want to insert so before inserting sp will be decremented to the next location right that is 1976 and then well, from wherever you want to insert one element that element will be moved to the top of the stack this is how push operation takes place right so see sp always points to the top element so to push a new item first it has to be updated to the location where a new element can be pushed so what will be that location next lower address right not exactly lower in the next lower address means whatever be the address of the next element according to the size of each element we have taken right this we will make the next is here sp will be decremented because here we have said updated updated may be increment or decrement but as your stack grows downward in the memory that means successive elements will be at the successive lower addresses so to insert a new element sp will be first decremented and then the value of this memory location can be inserted on the stack right so and this rule is applicable for pushing any element onto the stack be the first element be the last element be the any element whenever we insert first we decrement sp and then we insert the element to the memory location pointed by sp so see whatever we have done can be summarized in these two instructions first we have decremented sp that is subtract 4 comma sp this we have done and after that what we have done the value of memory location new item is sent to the memory location pointed by sp so sp is now pointing at 1976 there we have inserted the element 19 so hope this part is clear and see instead of these two instruction we can do the same thing using a single instruction also what could be that single instruction already we have discussed in addressing mode that when we want to insert one element on the stack we can use auto increment addressing mode auto increment right sorry auto decrement addressing mode because it is subtract so auto decrement addressing mode very sorry so see what we will do move new item minus sp and one more thing you need to uh, see here this minus sign is before sp it means first sp will be decremented then it will be used as a memory pointer to that location the value from new item memory location will be inserted or we say push operation is performed see in stack two operations are there push and pop and always remember stack grows downward in the memory and push and pop operation can be can be done on the top of the stack only and stack follows lifo order last in first out so if we want to take out one element from the stack we cannot take out these intermediate elements we can take out always the element who is at the top after this element is taken out then only the next then next and so on so this is the restriction that already you might have come across in your data structures also the next is uh, for push operation one more point i would like to highlight 
सपोज इट इज गिवन दैट योर स्टैक स्टार्ट इन मेमोरी फ्रॉम लोकेशन टू थाउजेंड दैट मीन्स एट लोकेशन टू थाउजेंड यू कैन इंसर्ट वन एलिमेंट सो टू स्टार्ट विथ टू थाउजेंड लोकेशन इनिशियली एस पी वैल्यू हैज टू बी टू थाउजेंड फोर ड्यू टू द एग्जामेशन टेकन वाई बिकॉज बिफोर इंसर्टिंग वी विल डिक्रीमेंट एंड देन वी विल इंसर्ट सो इफ एट ऑल यू कीप द इनिशियल वैल्यू ऑफ एस पी एस टू थाउजेंड देन द न्यू एलिमेंट विल बी इंसर्टेड एट वन नाइन नाइन सिक्स सो दिस लोकेशन विल रिमेन आन यूज इन दैट केस बट वट वी हैव डन वी हैव इनिशलाइज इट विथ टू थाउजेंड फोर सो फर्स्ट इट विल बी डिक्रीमेंटेड बाई फोर एंड देन द न्यू एलिमेंट विल बी इंसर्टेड हेयर राइट सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट ऑल्सो देन नेक्स्ट इज पॉप ऑपरेशन सो हाउ टू परफॉर्म ए पॉप ऑपरेशन पॉप ऑपरेशन कैन बी परफॉर्म फ्रॉम द टॉप ऑफ द स्टैक ऑनली राइट सो वट वी हैव टू डू एस पी इज ऑलवेज पॉइंटिंग टू द टॉप एलिमेंट सो वी आर एट द पोजिशन फ्रॉम वेयर वी कैन परफॉर्म ए पॉप ऑपरेशन सो सिंपली टेक आउट द एलिमेंट वेर एवर एस पी इज पॉइंटिंग टू आफ्टर दैट दिस एलिमेंट विल नॉट बी देयर एनी मोर देन एस पी शुड बी पॉइंटिंग टू द नेक्स्ट लोकेशन राइट बिकॉज एस पी इज ऑलवेज पॉइंटिंग टू ए लोकेशन वेर वन एलिमेंट इज देयर ऑन द स्टेक so next element after this minus 12 has been taken out next element is 23 so sp has to be incremented from 80 it will come to 84 right so for pop operation sp always points to the top element so to pop an element first it has to be popped up first you take out the element wherever sp is pointing to and then sp has to be updated here this update operation will be a increment operation right so first use the value of sp as a memory pointer and then increment it so it will be a post increment operation so first we will see th this is how we will write that wherever sp is pointing to from there you take one element and give it to this memory location item this is pop operation along with that sp has to be updated to the next location because sp always points to the top element so for comma sp so sp will be now 1984 instead of these two lines we can summarize it in single line that will be sp plus comma item it is auto increment and please remember it is a post operation first sp value will be used as a memory pointer that means sp content will be used as a effective address of your operand that operand we will take and will give it to the memory location item and then uh, sp will be incremented so this is about push and pop operation in general way but see the way you have done in data structure whenever you are inserting element on the stack or pushing element on the stack first thing you need to see the stack is not already full if it is full then you should not perform the operation and in case of pop operation what we used to do first we used to see whether the stack is already empty if so then do not perform the pop operation so by incorporating both these conditions we are next going to write push and pop operation and those operations we have termed as safe push operation means we are doing push operation only when it is possible right so these are names only given safe push operation that means we are not going to insert an element once the stack has crossed its limit right that is safe push and safe pop will be we are not going to take out one element once the stack is empty right so and here please understand we will do this example with some assumption the assumption is that the length uh, my stack starts in memory at location 2000 and it will go up to 1500 so see your stack is starting at 2000 and going up to 1500 right so see if you want to insert one element you want to insert one element then where you should not insert you should not go beyond 1500 correct you should not go beyond 1500 because that is that locations does not belong to your stack address space right so only till 1500 we can insert one element and what we used to do before performing a push operation we used to decrement and then perform the operation so if the value of sp please understand here if the value of sp is 1500 right 1500 and you want to perform a push operation then where it will push it will push at 14996 1496 right so 
it will not be a location that belongs to your space right so that will be you are inserting uh, in the stack where the space does not belong to you right so that will be a illegal operation so that time we should not perform the push operation right so that part we are going to check here what we will do see here say push operation this is the level of the instruction means one name we have given the instruction is compare my has 1500 comma sp so what it is doing it is performing a non destructive subtraction operation in my previous videos we have seen this compare instruction so what it will do it will perform a subtraction operation what it will subtract destination is my um, sp whatever is the content of sp from that it will subtract 1500 right it will subtract 1500 and after performing the operation if the result becomes zero or the result is less than zero what does it mean what does it mean if it is equal to zero means sp is 1500 or the result is less than zero this means sp is having some value from 1496 on so on right on the other side that means that space does not belong to you so if that is the case then we should not perform a push operation right so we have performed the compare operation now what i will do i will see do this one branch less than 0 hope you remember branch instruction checks the result of its previous instruction so it will see the result of arithmetic uh, that subtraction operation if the result of subtraction is less than or equal to 0 in both the cases it indicates you are somewhere where already stack is full 1500 is also what here one element is there and if it is here that means already you have crossed the limit right so if it is less than 0 that means what stack is already full so branch less than 0 full error this is nothing but one level of an instruction so suppose full error is written here somewhere full error right this is a level of an instruction so here say let's say i am doing what print some message print failure message that you should not insert into a overflow stack right this is how we are handling it so this is just to uh, indicate that there is an error right it is not, not doing nothing big whenever it is not an appropriate condition it will take me to some instruction that instruction is telling the user that you are performing a inappropriate operation try it with um, next time so see here we have already written everything in a full stack push operation should not be done that we know and if the and when this will be the case if the value of sp is 1500 or less than 1500 that means stack is already full hence compare operation will give you result as what either zero or a negative value if so if sp is 1500 then the next push operation will take place at what 1496 which is not the part of stack right so we should not perform the operation so we are jumping to this level if this condition is true we are not going to perform a push operation rather we are going to some instruction that instruction will tell the user that you are performing trying to perform a erroneous operation then and if it is not so that means the value of sp is what not 1500 neither less than 1500 something uh, greater than 1500 right then what we will do we will insert one item so this is the value that we want to insert from this memory location we are sending one value to the stack where you are sending at the decremented value of sp right so if it was 1500 we were not doing if it is greater than 1500 then you can do the operation easily so this part is already you have understood in my previous slide but this part is doing that overflow check if the stack is already full you should not insert so hope this part is clear so in this video i will cover up to safe push operation only and in next video we'll see how to perform your safe pop operation thank you